Okay, this is now the bear is working, and then by the way, not always when the bear is working, you have to be on the foot. You can't be away. You're still planning. So I could use the orientation of the bear to plan first, even before touching the the tooth. The bear is working, but still, I'm just lightly touching, just to check the undercut. Okay. So I'm going closely to the tooth. There is no undercut here. Notice that the head of the bear is over the center of the tooth. So this is the correct orientation of the tooth. I'm going down, now going closer to the angle. See, there's a small undercut on this angle. Do you see it beneath the bear? Do you see it, Victoria? Look closer. There's a small empty triangle beneath the tip of the bear. So where am I preparing? I'm actually preparing with the body of the bear in this area. Okay? So I'm, I'm removing the undercut from above the, uh, uh, sorry, removing the undercut by preparing the bulge over it. So no, notice my orientation of the bear. The head of the bear is over the center of the tooth. Notice I'm still not working. Now I'm touching. Which part is touching from your angle of view? The part is touching is the middle of the bear here. So I'm removing the bulge over the undercut. So I'm running from here with the correct paper down here. Okay? See it? You can see even the scratch mark. Yes. Okay? Uh, some people would mark it with a pen, a pencil and you could see the preparation place. Going now here, the undercut here. So I'm going to cut the tooth. Which part is working now? It's working on this bulge. Okay? Of course I'm not going to remove the whole bulge because you remember we have two planes of preparation. But still I'm in the correct path of session where I'm tilting a little bit lingually. So the head of the bear is still over the center of the tooth. Okay? The head of the hand piece, by the way. So I'm touching very lightly. There is an empty space between uh, under the bear. That empty space is removed by removing the bulge over it. Okay. I also I'm going to brush the crown margin to make sure it's carries it. Okay, it is carries it. While I'm preparing, if I notice that I'm touching the gingiva, I would prefer the method where I told you to put a retraction cord to remove the gingiva away and also guide me how much is left inside the pocket. Okay, so I brushed it. I'm in the correct paper. I found another undercut. You see this big undercut here? Yes. You see it? Okay. So I'm going to remove it. What, what is touching? You, the camera can't see this undercut, by the way. I'm, I'm removing the bulge here. Okay? So the undercut is here. I'm removing the bulge here. I'm in the correct paper, not over paper, not under paper. Because many times while you're working with undercuts, you might felt like this. This is away from the tooth. You will produce another undercut. No, I want to work with the correct paper towards the tooth and simply brushing the surface of the tooth. See how I'm brushing it? Where, where is it working? It's working around this area. The body of the bear is working to remove the undercut. Okay? While I'm still in the correct paper. Okay. So this is how I remove the undercut from the bottom surface. Now you are going to repeat the same procedure on the molar area, okay? And remove the undercut from the buckle of the molar. Make sure you don't interrupt the bulge of the two planes. I'm not removing the bulge of the two planes. I'm removing the bulge immediately over the undercut that is present cervically, okay? And